Hello there, my name is Josh, and today I wanted to do something a little different. If you didn't know, my most played champion is Akali, and for nearly two years I've one tricked her. After a while of playing the same champion, you get tired of them, and you want to try something new. This is where Aurelia comes in. I'm not a stranger to Aurelia, I've played her a decent amount, about 80,000 mastery under the old system, but I wouldn't say I'm good at Aurelia, and that sort of leads into what I want to do today. I'm going to be showing you some highlights from a recent game, but rather than just putting music on, I'm going to be talking about my decision making and mistakes and stuff like that. Sort of like a VOD review if you will. Now before I hop into the game, let me show you the game review and spoiler alert, I win the game. I know it's usually better to review losses, but this game had a million mastery riven in it, so I wanted to brag a little bit. As you can see, the overall elo of this game is pretty low, but I'm matched up against that million mastery emerald riven. For anyone wondering, I haven't done my ranked placements this split. So here in loading screen, you can see that the matchups are fairly even. Thresh is definitely more experienced than the Senna, but that's offset by Riven's experience compared to mine. So we start the game and I immediately complain about Riven, but Thresh wants to invade, so I follow the team and we come across Callista binding Senna in a bush. I level my Q since I realize they're both animation locked and pick up a single assist with Callista walking out. I'm not 100% certain if we could have killed Callista if I started E because she still had flash. Coming into lane, I didn't have a great plan against Riven. This is the first Riven I've fought in a while and I'm not even sure if I've ever fought her with Aurelia. I wanted to stack my Q and trade with her, but instead of queuing her, I tried to prep a fourth minion. She cancels my dash and forces me to trade, breaking both of our bone platings. Now here's my biggest mistake in the lane. I let my passive fall off when I hit level 2 and give Riven room to breathe. I finally decide to go in, but she hits level 2 and I miss my stun. My passive falls off and Riven takes this opportunity to walk up and W me. My Q comes up so I tried to trade with her but without my E and only one minion available, I quickly realized this was a lethal mistake. I flashed late but through some miracle she doesn't get the last auto off and I survive on 17 HP. Oh my god. I TP back and immediately miss a cannon. Are you st I didn't manage to freeze the wave so I tried to stack my passive and slowly push the wave. I pushed a little too hard so instead of crashing two waves with the cannon, the wave gets a little stuck in front of her turret. She initiates a trade but isn't able to keep the wave from crashing so I get another reset off. I pick up a recurve bow and control ward because I know I won't be able to fight off both Riven and Uder for the time being. The wave coming in is massive and I want to freeze, but as it reaches me, Nunu pings on the way. Riven sees the freeze incoming, so she trades into me heavily. I'm on the losing side of the trade, but knowing that Nunu is coming, I trade back, forcing her ignite. I pick up the kill and my freeze is intact. While I'm holding the wave, I take a look mid and realize the ADC Callista is solo ganking my mid laner. I ended up life stealing too much on the wave, so I start another slow push. Again, I mess it up using my Q too much, but this time it's a little better. I run Oom, but manage to push the wave in and get another reset. I pick up a pickaxe, longsword, and a ward and head back to lane. Riven crashes the wave and heads into the river, which I ping, but because Nunu doesn't see her in the river, he tries to take the crab. She ends up coming up from behind him and gets a solo kill. I try to cheese her with my E and fail. Seeing my E down, she jumps on me, but she doesn't have R. I follow her flash and get a solo kill. Riven really didn't respect Aurelia at this moment. I think what happened is she thought without my E, I couldn't really stack my passive all too well. This is something that catches me off guard as well, because most people don't think about Aurelia's other abilities stacking her passive. My W, R, and 2 Qs allow me to get 4 stacks. Riven had just used her abilities to get on top of me, so she has nothing up and I could just stat check her by autoing. Luckily, the wave was pushing out at this time because she had crashed it so I push a big wave into the turret and look for plates. I keep my passive up on the wave for extra sieging power and manage to get two plates. I end up missing some minions on her crash because I recalled late and didn't want to use TP. I was thinking of just slow pushing another wave but Riven had recalled again so I push the wave and look for another plate. I try to get two but I was a little slow with the wave so I back off and recall. I TP back in with Bork and a cloth armor and Riven decides to Q3 onto me. There's not much to say about this play, she just really didn't respect the Bork power spike. I think she was trying to Q3 me, W me, and E out, but even if that happens, I still just chase her down. We see Udyr move from mid into top river, so I crash my wave and head towards Grub. I hold my E for Nunu's knockup, but Udyr awakens Ornform and gets out. 
No way. In the meantime, Riven was crashing another wave, but she gets caught out. Oh, Riven, this is not gonna... Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I finished off the turret, but as I was headed back top, Thresh pings me mid, and as a Thresh player, I have to click on every lantern, even though I'm confused about what he wants. What? You want me to push with you, or like, what do I do here? A child. Now I don't know if flashing there was actually worth it, but a low health bar was on my screen and I saw red. I finished off mid turret as Riven breaks top, but she gets caught out again and walks straight into my Lux's combo. As I'm recalling, I see my Kai'Sa getting dove and I have some indecision. I have 1k gold on me and no abilities, so I really want this recall. I decided that Kai'Sa would be dead before I could TP, but she buys so much time. I'm too late to save Kai'Sa, so I TP on the wave to catch Kalista instead of TPing behind Senna. I forgot Kalista can just use the wave to get out, so I wasted my TP. Lux catches Senna and I try to chase down Kalista but fail. I can't reach that. Maybe I can? No, it's too late. Nunu takes a detour mid where Zoe had clearly been hit by her own bubble and we pick up another kill. I head top to try and take down tier 2 turret, but I mess up my passive and Riven shows up, leading to the worst Aurelia gameplay I've ever seen in my entire life. Jesus, dude. That was embarrassing. I finish off the turret and Riven comes back for round two, but this time with a friend. I flashed out of instinct because I was in turret range, but honestly, I don't think I could have done much more. Uh, I canceled my... Fuck, dude, I canceled my Q. After picking off Riven, I started taking their blue buff, but we get caught and Thresh ends up dicking me over. I'm hitting blue buff to preserve my stacks and look for an opening in the fight, but Thresh throws his lantern directly on top of me and I pulled not only into the fight, but directly into a Senna root. Riven's pushing up again, and as Nuno collapses on her, I try to jump on her, but completely disregard all the minions. Out of shame, I just left the kill to everyone else. My team is fighting in the jungle, and even though I try to call them off, they manage to kill Kalista and get out scot-free. Senna and Zoe are hanging around after the play, so I try to jump on them, but fail. Lux does pick me up with an assist, though. Riven's pushed up again as Dragon is spawning, so I go to match her since I have TP. I don't know if you could tell during the clip, but she scared me. When I jumped on her, she wasn't taking anywhere near as much damage as I thought she would, so I back out of the fight a bit. I try to use the minion wave to reset some auto attacks, but I couldn't seem to get on top of her. Thresh comes in and I end up just standing still and auto attacking her, which doesn't make for an interesting clip, but at least I don't die. Seeing me and Thresh top, the enemy team rushes Drake, so we decide to trade Baron instead. I reset and go bot and see my teams fighting in the jungle instead of sieging. I think I want this bot tier 3 more than I want to help them. I wasn't looking closely at the time, so I thought they were all dying. I decided to just take the turret instead. My team had gone back to sieging at that point, so Zoe and Senna came to contest my push. I can't even tell you what Callista was thinking right there. Now I'm not an idiot. I know that without the early Nunu gank and the river kill and the failed level 2 kill, Riven would have beaten me into an early grave, but I don't really care. I'm trying to practice my Irelia. I realized recently that my fear of not being good at characters is holding me back. I'm too used to playing Akali where I can just spit out crazy outplays in every game. Irelia is a hard champion, and not every game is going to go this well, but it's important when learning a champion to just play them as much as you can. My hope is that I can look back at these early games in the future and see the progress I've made. But that brings us to the end of the video. Like I said in the beginning, I'm trying some new stuff out with League, so I'd be really grateful if you let me know what you thought about it. It was kind of fun doing this sort of commentary, and I'd like to do it again, so subscribe. 
so subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. But anyways, that's it. That's all I got for you. As always, thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.